Jacques Cousteau was born on June 11, 1910, in the province of Bordeaux in France, to his French parents. Although Cousteau was a sickly child who the doctors told not to participate in any serious activity, he learned to swim and develop a passionate love for the sea. He combined this love with an early interest in invention and built a model of a marine crane when he was 11 years old. During Jacques Cousteau's childhood, he would often misbehave in school grounds. One time, he broke school windows by experimenting with stones. As often as he was experimenting with stones, he was usually expelled from schools. As punishment, he was sent to a military academy near the French and German border. After graduation of 1929, he was accepted by Ecole Navale Academy, in which he embarked a one-year cruise in which he documented, filmed, everything that piqued his interest. He even filled Douglas Fairbanks and Sultan of Oldman. During his graduation in 1933, he was promoted to second lieutenant and was stationed in base Sangha, China. His duty was to survey and map the countryside. Before graduation in 1936, he was involved in a near fatal automobile accident. Cousteau performed his own rehabilitation on his daily swims around the Lee Morlon. Cousteau soon fell in love with goggle diving, marveling at the variety of underwater sea life. He later wrote a book. The Sound World, in which he describes his experiences while diving around the Mediterranean Sea. During his recovery, he met Simone Nashore, a high school student who was living in Paris. After one year courtship, they married. The two couples moved into a house near Limorlon Bay. The Custodes produced their first son, Jean Michael, who was born in March 1936, and their second son, Philip, 1939. By this time, France was preparing for war. Cousteau was promoted to gunnery officer in the ship Duplex. The war, however, was largely limited to ground action, and Germany quickly overran the ill-prepared French army. Leaving the occupied section of France enabled Cousteau to continue his experiments and allowed him to spend many hours with his family. In 1942, he designed the Aqualung, an early underwater breathing device. Cousteau then helped remove mines from French seas left over from the war. One of these minesweeper boats would become Cousteau's research ship, the Calypso. In 1960, Cousteau became an important part of raising awareness movement, prevent dumping of French atomic waste into the Mediterranean Sea. In 1959, he addressed the First World Oceanic Congress, widespread in which led appearance on Time magazine on March 28, 1960. April 1961, he was awarded the National Geographic's Gold Medal of the White House Ceremony, hosted by John F. Kennedy. In 1966, a first hour-long television special, The World of Jacques Cervez, was broadcasted. He soon landed a contract with ABC, in which the series was called Under Sea World of Jacques Cousteau in 1968. This program ran for eight seasons and starred Cousteau, his sons, Philip and Jean Michael, and the sea creatures from around the globe in order to raise public opinion against pollution. In 1975, he founded the Cousteau Society, an international organization which branches in several countries. In honor of his achievements, Cousteau received the U.S. Presidential Medal of Freedom in 1985. In 1987, he was inducted into the Television Academy Hall of Fame and later received the Founders Award from the International Council of National Academy of Television, Arts and Sciences. In 1988, the National Geographic Society honored him with this incidental award, and in 1989, French admitted him membership in a prestigious academy. Gaston died at his home from a heart failure in Paris, France, on June 25, 1997. Gaston's legacy includes more than 120 television documentaries, 50 books, and Environmental Protection Foundation with over 300,000 members. Jacques was known as a writer, on a sea explorer, photographer, and inventor. His willingness to help the environment lead to an enlightened public by exposing irreversible effects of environmental destruction. That ends the story of Jacques Cousteau, a genius sea explorer and inventor.